evening lifers. I wanted to do something different right now since it's raining and can't really do anything else. I wanted to do something of a throwback. Not to previous videos because I don't have a lot of those. I have some. I should upload a couple of them, but that's going to be another project for another day. Right now, I just want to talk. We talk about pound puppies. Here they are. Back in the day, this would have been the plan. Somewhere between 20 and 30 years ago, if it was raining, was to get these guys out. Where are their names? Why does it just say Labrador and German Shepherd and Beagle and Poodle? First of all, Poodles were really rare back in the original generation. Very rare. You almost never saw them. Um, but they had names, didn't they? Like Barkington or Cooler. Cooler was one of the names. Nose Marie. I wouldn't forget that for some reason. Anyway, I know there was a show. I never watched the show. I had some of the books, and I definitely had the stuffies. I still have them. Let's meet the pack. Uh, unpack. Okay. So here's the puppy that started it all. I think sometime when I, around the time I was born, somebody decided I needed one of those, these. I don't know who. I think it was a friend of my parents that I never really met beyond infancy. But this is how they looked in the late 80s. He's big, see? They don't make them this big now. He's like one of my hand spans. And I don't have a small hand span. So he's somewhere between 7 and 9 inches. Take off his collar. He's naked. He doesn't want you to see him that way. Okay. Okay. Put this back on. You can see what happened to the paint on their eyes. It went right off. My sister has one. Her absolute favorite. Hasn't had paint on its eyes since she was about five. Um, it's a little spotty dog. And... Like I said, we had the books. So we didn't have TV or anything when I was really young. Another book that we had, we had a lot of Disney books. And so this guy was actually named Chief from the Fox and the Hound. So this is Chief. There is a copper floating around, but I don't own that one. Um, so I'll put Chief over here for the meantime. Which one did this one? Let's see. Chronologically, I don't know. I don't know when I got these chronologically. This is another early one. See, her paint actually stayed. This is Amy. She was a Valentine one. They put even more clothes on her. I suppose these clothes should be washed. They have been at one point, but they're really falling apart. You can see at some point I put new Velcro on that. Okay. Cover her back up. Emmy. I think I was four when I got this one. Another early one. Sweetie. She's a garage sale find. She was probably my closest to Nose Marie. You can see she has the... I don't know. Someone who knows more about this is going to have to help me. But she has this collar rather than the one that you can take off. As I mean Chief did. She has her little pound puppy thing. An embroidered tattoo by her little tail. They never had much tail. This is what their tags look like now. These things are hours and hours and hours of play. If they were records, they'd be played out by now. That's how bad things are. This one is a name... He has a name that came from the books. This is Punkin. Punkin was one of the puppies in the pound in one of the books. He was adopted. He sure is cute. He's one of the really, really soft ones. They're all made of velour. And the first generation was washable by machine. Which you can imagine what those old agitator washing machines did to the paint on their eyes. Anyway, you could still put them in a pillowcase and wash them. They, they were mostly washed in the sink, and the fun part about that is that they stayed really, really sopping wet. So you could have puppy kisses, you could put them on the radiator for forever, if you had one. So that's Punkin. 
Next guy I want you to meet, my absolute favorite. Absolute, absolute favorite. Blackie. Blackie is a little bit smaller. Newborn, baby pound puppy, whatever. At one point in time, I did have their boxes. I had Chief's box. But Blackie was garage sale fine, so I never had his box. And I strongly suspect, due to this particular collier, which is wider and also a sewn-on ribbon, but he was actually a Hardy's Happy Meal toy at Christmas 1985. So good bargain for a favorite. I think, I don't know, paid 25 cents for him or something at a garage sale. And he was my favorite, about eight years old. So cute. Black Lab. Next we have, and I cannot take responsibility for this name, Gravon. Hey, Grey Poupon. Only Gravon. <laughs> for some reason, Avon is a name. Um, my sister had one as well that she named that, so I stole the name. Stole the name Gravon. Hers looked, I think, a lot more like Cooler or is it Barclay? There was a gray and, gray and brown striped dog in the books that hers looked almost exactly like. Mine has longer ears. So that's Gravon. Now who else do we have here? This is Pepper or Periwinkle. Named for the Periwinkles in Outland. Which, I know, I know. They like to fly, fly, frolic around on the periwinkle's sands apparel. Um, but since they were mostly animals, it's okay. So, come to think of it, she's an animal. It's a hot day. I did sometimes call her Pepper after a dog in 101 Dalmatians. You can see, she's the, she's got these, she almost sits up that and I don't know if that's like supposed to be that way or not but I used to take the bracelet use it for her collar and the purse strap was her leash and she could go along kind of like almost walking she's another garage sale find so you can see the older kids in my neighborhood took really good care of their their well their clothes and their toys because <laughs> I ended up with a lot of them Here's her little, this is a Michigan cheerleading outfit. I made this for her. There were a lot of other clothes too. I know what you're thinking. These are all newborns. Don't you have any of the big puppies? I did. I had Big Mama at one point in time. And the story with Big Mama is that I bought her at a garage sale around the same time I bought these guys. And... She's a hound dog, so she, of course, he has all this extra skin right here. Skin velour. <laughs> and she didn't look too happy. So my mom, not wanting that trope in the family, kept this dog for a long time after washing it. I was upset, so she could so smile on it. I wish I would have kept Big Mama, but I haven't because she's hard to store. I did, however, keep Sugar Daddy. That's really his name. <laughs> Um, like this is another name I stole from my sister, so I'm going to blame her as well as crediting her. She wanted to call him Sugar because he was white. Hers looked almost exactly the same as this one. And it, well, hers, hers had lighter brown spots. So he looked like he was made of both kinds of sugar. So he was Sugar and he was the dad. We were normally just to call them Sugar. And there's his nose. I also made gray ones of these. Like something like bulldogs. His nose is so light. Look at that. These didn't get as much play just because they were kind of unwieldy to lug around. And if you've ever, we didn't have central air, so if you've ever tried to lay in bed with one of these on your chest and it's like 90 degrees, you're wondering why you can't sleep because normally they help you sleep a great deal. At least the little ones do. That's sugar. 
I know another question I have is where are the puris? They were puppies and then they were pound puris. Unlike the big pound puppies, for some reason I love the big pound puris. This is the only one we had when I was little. I had even another one when I was a bit older. I don't have her anymore, but this is Finnegan. And she's a girl, actually, a girl named Finnegan. She's the only one that I ever had that had her original collar. Take a look at that. The writing's worn off on it. She had a collar, and sometimes I would take it off and put it on the puppies. I know cats don't particularly like collars. So that's Finnegan. Next up we have Spot. Found him in my stocking. I was maybe eight at the time. Newly into Star Trek, so that's why he's named Spot. And Snowball around the same time. Snowball might have originally belonged to my sister. Also around the time that I was about eight years old, the neighbors got a standard poodle, which I was obsessed with. And so, this one, Little Maya. Their poodle was named Maya. This is Little Maya. And she looks exactly like Maya. Also a garage sale find from distant lands. This guy here is Howard. I found him in a thrift store. I was older then. Isn't he cute? I made these for him. Then we get the Galoob generation. Three little mini itty bitty pound puppies. So cute. Cuddles. Sugar and cream, I think. Because this one looks like brown sugar and this one looks like cream. And these were Blackie and Sweetie's children. At one point. They lived in a candy box. Mini Purries. Mini Purry Mama. Mini Purry Babies. Forget about a candy box. These guys lived in a basket. I really love them. A couple of other little finds here. This one I was about 12 both times here. This one's rare. It's got this little stitched mark here so that you can see it's all wrinkly. Wrinkly and rumply. This is just a third generation to complete the complete the the set here, the collection. Look at how much smaller that is. That's a lot smaller, that's crazy. And this was supposed to be the regular size. When, when, when Mattel had them. Hasbro had them now. Super pound puppy. This is a souvenir when I was a teenager sometime. Now, why did I like these things so much? Because there's really not that much to them. They have no moving parts or anything like that. They don't bark. These don't bark. Most, Some of them did, but these don't bark. Um, the main reason that I like them so much is actually because of something that's even older and that creepy by today's standards. Now this is something, my grandma bought this, and apparently you had to make clothes for it. So she made entirely crocheted clothes because that's just how she rolls, um, or did roll at the time. And one thing that I love to do is to take this little dress that Cupie is wearing and put it on the pound puppies. This was a great incentive to learn how to tie. They talk about shoes. Nah, kids don't care about shoes. 
They come with Velcro. This didn't. So, Grandma was very clever. For whatever reason, she never made any sewn clothes that had Velcro. They always had to be tied. So, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Sweetie. And, of course, these things had to have little panties. Because you can't have, you know, pound puppies wandering around without pants on. One thing that, this was my mom's idea. Take this here. Put it on Chief. Okay, he doesn't need a bow tie with this, but you get the idea. You take these and cross them around to make overalls. Usually we'd just tuck them in, but they work better if you tied them. There he is. He's got his overalls on now. Pepper here, or Periwinkle, looked best in the skirt. This is her favorite skirt. A little kind of tutu skirt. There she is. I guess at one point she looked best on a skirt. There it is. Why would you have such a cute flouncy walk if you didn't ever wear a skirt? There's tons of stuff that she made for these. Is it definitely more frilly skirt? This was like having build a, -a build a bears, but the cost just wasn't there. So not only we were did we have a lot of them, we were actually allowed to play with it because it was twenty five cents and then grandma's yarn scraps, which we really, as you could see, treated like they were. Such wonderful works of art, but they did get fuzzy. This is Maya's dress. Maya's dress got really fuzzy. Somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, this is the Christmas dress. The other Christmas dress. Somewhere in here, there's the Christmas skirt. Christmas skirts. Two Christmas skirts. This one's sewn together for whatever reason. I guess it could be a collar for a larger animal. <laughs> like maybe Finnegan here. That doesn't fit Finnegan. It fits over Snowball's big head. There you have it. There's the collar. There's a hat. This was a cover for a pot, a pot knob, if you can imagine. I have a bunch of pound puppies jumping ship here. Put this on Blackie. Blackie here, kind of a Yoki Taco Bell look. Before that time. <laughs> These eventually did go on those dogs that were the Taco Bell mascot dogs where you squeeze them and they said something. I would show you those now, but they no longer talk. I think I only I only had two of them. Let's see, what else do we have? This was actually Blackie's hat. This is Sweetie's favorite dress. Once Grandma decided that the Cupid doll and some should be kept together, this is what Sweetie wore instead. Quite close. This is Pumpkins, because the boys wear the dresses too. I might as well not hide that fact. Um, that's why some of them were my favorites. 
I was actually dressing gray Yvonne the first time. I learned a tie bow. I put Blackie in this, um, Blackie's blouse. His shirt. Him in his fancy puffy shirt here. I don't know when this was ever in style, but it is now. I loved this one too. For Easter. And there's a lot of the little teens. This is a little bit bigger one. They used to twirl around in. And they had summer clothes too, which is what's in this box. So, around the time I was really into pound puppies, someone, one of the aunts, gave both of us, both my sister and I, one of these dolls that had, you know, the comb and the mirror and five outfits and all that. And naturally our first thought was, yay, more pound puppy clothes. Because they fit them perfectly. They really did. Let's take a look. I'll show you. Periwinkle again. And this is her periwinkle colored dress. Okay. Well, I'm having way too much fun with these. Most of them are going to be given away soon. This was the absolute favorite. See how worn these things got. Most of them are going to be given away soon, but that's just a glimpse into how I essentially had build the bears ages ago. But they cost almost nothing. And they were more portable. These are about the size of a Beanie Baby. Which when Beanie Babies first came along, you can imagine how into those I was. Because I already had all the clothes, all the accessories, even cars that fit these guys. Oh. Room for one more. Beanie Babies. Well. Signing off.